Oh. Ed's world. Ed's world. Sorry, whose world is it? Ed's world. With Tom Hoody. Well, they rude. Maybe it's the smarts, maybe it's the dude. One thing's for certain, he doesn't make sense. Half the time it's gibberish, the other has some goobly blants. What? And Matt! Purple Hoodie, also brain overcoat. No one likes him as much as himself, he's got a formidable chin. Though he doesn't know that word, cause he's got the intelligence of the kitchen shelf. Hey! So Red Hoodie! He's not what he seems, he is a Norwegian call me. Hence I addict, gun fanatic, his only friends are Paul and Patrick. And my giant robot! Ed! Hey! Usually the leader, probably the first of them all to poke fun. He's the artist, he loves cola, and he's always trying to make a pun. Probably due to his linguistic ed education. That's terrible. Ed's world! I became a fan of Ed Gould's webtoon series Ed's World ever since I saw his flash animations on Newgrounds. In fact, I knew him. I lived not too far from him. I knew Tom, Matt, and even toured in real life too. Now since I kept in touch with Ed, he let me see his animated episodes at least a day or two before he submits them to the internet. I then asked him if I could make some special guest comics until he felt better. He said he already gave a few other DeviantArt members permission to do that. Dot. Ed still made comics in the hospital, and he never did more than one guest comic in a row, and he never would hire random people on DeviantArt to make his comics. If he stopped making comics in the hospital, he'd let his friends make the comics because he knows and trusts his friends and he knows his friends are talented and learned his style of humor. But he gave me permission to upload a Flash Ed Swirled episode to his Newgrounds account. He told me he finished it, and wanted me to upload it for him. If he couldn't upload any videos in the hospital then how did he upload Hammer and Fail P1, Xanta Claus 3, Hammer and Fail P2 and some shorts? I promised not to share his password what kind of friend are you if you have to promise you won't share your friend's password on the internet. After I logged into his computer, I searched for the episode until I saw a SWF file called Ed Swirled and SWF. I saved the Ed Swirled and SWF onto my flash drive. I left his house, locking the door with the spare key he gave me. When I got back home and logged onto my computer, I decided to check out this episode to see what kind of adventure Ed and the others might have. I clicked on it, and Adobe Flash Player opened, activating the SWF file. The title and appear- I resorted to click the play button. The normal Ed Swirled title jingle played, but when it finished, the black background turned red. The title began like this, Ed Swirled Presents, and, starring Ed, Tom, Matt, and Tord. I was quite surprised to see Tord's name in this episode. I thought Tord left after a certain Ed Swirled episode was completed. The animation looked the same as Ed's animation style in the episode where the gang were in an Egyptian cave, underground. It started out as a horrible stormy night in a city. Ed and his friends were walking in the rain. Tom was drinking in a silver canteen. Probably alcohol inside. Ed, out of frustration, said, Tom, must you always drink at these times? What? T Ed then said, Well if you keep that up, we'll end up getting killed in accident. I mean you are the one driving us home. The voices sounded odd. I may be wrong, but it sounded like voice clips from past episodes that were remixed into new sentences, like what some YouTube poop videos do. Either that, or it sounded like new voice actors with poor recording. I couldn't tell. The scene then cut to the group in the car, with Tom at the wheel. Matt and Tord were in the back seats while Ed was in the front. You know, Tom, Ed said with a worried expression, maybe I should be the one to drive. Hey, dropped Ed. Ed, Tom snapped back. He then started the car. Music began to play on the radio. It sounded like it was from a horror movie, but I couldn't tell which one. Tord, out of fear said, Hey, ah, uh, can you at least play something more, you know, relaxing. Tom then changed the station on the radio, and the song Sunshine Lollipop started playing. I laughed at Tord's flatline expression as the song kept playing, because I know in the series that Tord hates that song. That's when things started becoming strange. While Tom was driving, the music started going slower and more morbid as they kept driving. The group then stopped at what seemed to be a cliff. The music then started becoming even more morbid and horrifying. Tom had a devious look on his face. Then, Matt said in a scared tone, Guys, I think Tom's at it again. I didn't know what they meant by that. 
I was starting to get freaked out. Ed then started telling Tom to stop and come to his senses, but he didn't listen. He then stepped onto the gas pedal. All of a sudden, the screen went dark. The low, scary music stopped playing. There was sounds of screeching car tires, crashes, glass smashing, and I even heard the guys screaming. They were screaming unlike how they scream in their usual episodes. It sounded like they were screaming like they were really getting killed. The screen then faded into what looked like a wrecked car. The screen then slowly zoomed in into the car. What I saw what gave me chills up my spine. Ed, Matt, and Tord looked dead. There was a little bit of blood coming from their heads. But the blood didn't look like blood the way that Ed did it in his episodes. The blood looked real. The screen then zoomed out with a close-up of Tom's legs. The camera then moved up quickly to show the back of Tom's head. In full frame. He didn't say anything. He turned around. What I saw horrified me. His black eyes had pupils. But they were a dark red color. He looked a lot like the picture from the Sonic Eggs Creepypasta. He gave an evil smile. The same song that played in the radio. Sunshine Lollipops. Continued playing in a slow deep tone. The screen stayed on Tom's horrifying face. I covered my eyes in fear. Hoping this would end. All of a sudden. I heard the music stop. I opened my eyes and noticed that the flash video ended. Thus bringing me to the main menu of the episode. I then decided to look at the little letters under the word end. The words I could make out was this were. This is what I think of your series. Edward Tom. I was in complete shock. Did Tom make this flash video? 